Hey folks, Mike here from Ali. And today I just want to do a super quick video on sticky headers inside the WordPress site editor because they don't work out of the box like you would think they would. There's a little trick to it. And we're going to show you how to do that uh, today. So I'm in the WordPress site editor here. You can see I'm working on my personal website and I want a sticky header. I want this header to stick at the top. So, you know, there's a sticky option uh, in, in the WordPress uh, design settings, but it doesn't quite work with the, the header and I'll show you why. So if I double click into my header, I'm now in the header template part. A template part is like a global element. There's a header template part, a footer template part. And these are uh, what we use on the headers and footers for every page on our site usually. So if I come in here to the header and I click on this uh, element here and then I come over to the block settings there is a position and I can turn that on and click sticky and click save now if I come over to the front end of my website you'll notice that it does not stick to the top like it should why doesn't that happen well if we dig into the code a little bit and then come down here and I'll zoom this in so we can see a little better What's actually happening is the header that I just applied that sticky position to is being wrapped uh, with another container. Um, you can see here, site header, uh, block template part. So the, the template part itself is wrapping that content in another container. And I have the sticky position on, on this div here, um, but this is what's wrapped. So it's this container is preventing the sticky position from taking effect. Now there are, I've seen all kinds of little workarounds people do of, uh, you know, you could wrap your header in a div or in a container and then put the sticky position on that. But then that has to be done on every page. There's actually a much simpler way. Um, and it's just with a little bit of CSS styling. So I've written a whole blog post about this, fixing the sticky header bug in the WordPress site editor. It's on the Ollie blog, ollywp.com. And down here I have some CSS and uh, I'm just going to copy that, but let's zoom in on that real quick and look at what's happening here. So this is just a little bit of CSS that is uh, using the very powerful has selector. And all it's doing is looking inside the header element and seeing if there is a, a sticky position class applied. And if there is, we're going to apply that uh, sticky position or, or that sticky style to the container element. So we're kind of uh, detecting it and then applying it to the containing element that is preventing us from getting the sticky position to begin with. So let's go ahead and copy that and let's come back into our site editor, come back out and let's just throw that CSS into the site. I'm going to go like that and save it. And then let's go to the front end of our site and refresh it. And now you can see I have a sticky header just as you would expect it to work. And if I come back in here, refresh this, you can see come in here. Uh, I still just have the sticky position on this element. I didn't have to do anything else. I just added a little bit of CSS styling and it works as you would expect. So uh, yeah, you could throw this into any of your sites to get the same effect. I just released an Ollie update with this included in the Ollie theme. So if you're using Ollie, you could just update it to version 1.4.9 and you'll get this little fix out of the box and it works beautifully with, with headers like this. I've tested it on a bunch of different use cases and it seems to work really nicely. So hopefully that uh, helps you out with sticky headers out of the box in the WordPress site editor. That's all for this video. I'll see you later.